Hey there, beautiful souls. Welcome back. And if you're new to Art of Awakening, my name is Christy and welcome to my channel. And I wanted to share a little bit today that uh, just came through to me about Archangel Michael. Um, this is a painting that I did about a little over three years ago. And when I did it, it, it just was completely channeled. It, it came through, um, the original drawing came through and I, I was just tuning into a friend of mine and uh, this angel came out. I was actually looking for a spirit animal but the angel really wanted to come out and uh, she took one look of it at, at him. It was just a sketch and she's like, oh my god, that's Michael. And uh, so, well, after that I just got inspired to do the painting, um, really got requested to do the painting of him. And the thing that is really different about the way that he came through in this painting is that he's not wielding the sword. It's really, um, he's asking us here to really focus, focus on the light. And, and this is, this message that recently came through to me is about focus because what he's saying is like, if you are really, really focused on the light, if you're focused on your purpose, if you're focused on your divine mission, if you maintain that focus, there is very little need for the sword. Okay, he's got it kind of behind him. In fact, the sword was sort of an afterthought. Um, you know, I, I did the painting and it was like, oh, something missing, what's going on? And and finally it's like, oh yeah, the sword isn't there, so I stuck it in. Um, and I've actually considered taking it back out, but I just kind of was um, in, in this message last night because I was really thinking about unframing this picture and, and removing the sword because it really didn't come in through the original, um, you know, image. But... Um, I was just kind of told, yeah, leave it in. And, but really the focus is on, you know, staying focused on the light. But what the message was is that as we progress, as we become more and more awakened, that cutting away aspect that Michael helps us to do is like we usually think of it as cutting cords, you know, um, setting each other free, or as in kind of cutting away anything that's not serving us and letting go. Um, but what I'm asked to share is that as you get further on in the waking process, there will be, you'll have to be facing like negative stuff less because you are more focused and because you you know maybe have been working on the protections you've been strengthening your aura and so you're going to be less barraged with some of the challenges some of the negative quote-unquote negative stuff that's coming up um, but what is what you're likely to come up against is you may be facing multiple choices of, you know, you've only got one you and, and, you know, when we're on this earth, we've got this timeline, you only have so much time really, um, even though everything's all happening at once and we know that there's unlimited time, but still, when we're in, embodied here, we've got a certain amount of time that, that we have for, for different things. And we're going to be constantly given choices of, you know, do I do I do this or do I do that? Do I, you know, um, do I spend my time doing this? Do I spend my time doing that? And each one, each time, each de decision that we make in terms of how to use our time is going to take us on a different timeline. So the question is, it's like, are we going to stay on our highest timeline? Because there could be Maybe you're facing two or three or four different choices that you could be doing, and they're all good. There's none of them that's like really going to hurt anybody. None of them that's, you know, they could all be attractive. And, but the, the question is, it's like, if, if it's not the one that's the most aligned with your highest truth, your highest truth, then it's going to take you a little bit off the path, and you may not even realize it. But after a few of these, you're going to find, oh my gosh, I'm not really going where I wanted to go anymore, even though it looked like a good direction. Okay, so the encouragement is, it's like, 
asking to use that sword to, you know, help us to discern where's where's the highest and best choice. You know, not, not just what's a good choice, but what's the highest and best choice. And in order for this to happen, in order to do this effectively, it's 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 really necessary to be absolutely clear on what we want on our purpose. You know, that, that clarity is essential. And that's what he's saying in this, this painting. It's like, you know, get clear and stay focused. So um, I hope this has been helpful. That's the message that came through is really about higher levels of clarity, focus, and discernment is going to be what's necessary to stay on the highest timeline. If you've, if you've, and this is, I'm speaking here to people who have been really doing a lot of work with themselves, and you may be finding yourself in a, a spot now where things may be manifesting really quickly. And the, the thing is that they're manifesting so quickly that you want to, want to really be aware of each step that you take, because each step that you take can be very powerful and that can make things happen very quickly and we want to like stay very 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 aligned and very aware of that alignment um, if you're not totally clear on what you're here for um, it's it's likely to you know you may end up like you may end up manifesting something quickly that you thought you wanted but then it turns out it's maybe not the best thing um, you know that kind of thing can happen very easily now so um, oh, and here's the other part of it is like, how do we know what's our highest timeline? Well, in order to do that, it's, it's coming into stillness, coming into silence and really listening. So really deepening the listening, deepening, you know, the, the, the centering, the grounding, that centering and grounding practice, that listening within, that being very aware of the body and what it's saying and what of the intuition and what it's saying. And, um, especially the body, because sometimes you know, sometimes we get false intuition, uh, but usually the body will tell us at some point, you know, you'll feel that tightness or that anxiety. And it helps you to recognize, you know, what's true intuition and what's not. So really, really staying attuned to the body, the emotions, you know, and, and the intuition um, and the mind, all of that staying together and, and staying focused. Okay, so... I think that's it. <laughs> uh, hope you've enjoyed. Um, as always, I really do appreciate your comments. I, I do try to answer every single one. And I just love you guys all so much. And uh, I also appreciate your likes, your subscribes, your shares, all that too. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much um, for all of that. And uh, if you want to contact me, those links are below. Much, much love to you. And we'll catch you again later.